Hello. Hi, everyone. Welcome in. I hope you all are doing great. Hopefully you can hear me. I don't know if you can or cannot, but I guess I could just open up my own YouTube and see if I get an echo. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. So anyway, I hope you all had a great weekend. We have some things to discuss. Good morning, Samara. How are you doing today? Hi, Bex. How are you doing today? Hey, Nix. How you doing? Welcome on in. I hope you are well. So first things first, last week, I don't even remember what we made, y'all, honestly. Oh, I think we colored this lady. Did we color this lady? Yeah, we colored this lady. And we um sewed some fabric and we made this bow for her, this, this pretty little thing. So I think that's what we did last week, I think. But let me tell y'all something. I, I have... We need to talk. We need to talk. I got a job, y'all. Like a for real grown up job. I didn't think that I would be going back into the workforce. But I am. <laughs> and I'm working. I haven't started work yet. That's good to hear, Bex. How was your meal? How was the food from last week? How was how did that go? Thank you so much. Um, I... Uh, I'm going to still enhance my skills because I need an, I need a different job. I need a job that I can kind of quote unquote dictate my time and effort at home. Because if you all don't know, I have some, um, I have body pro problems. Not that I'm like, Oh, my body's ugly. Those kind of problems. But I have, I have pain, body pain. Um, and so working at a, a real spot, standing up or doing, bending a lot of heavy lifting would cause my back to have more issues. So in my legs and knees, you all know that I had physical therapy a while for my shoulder. I have an appointment on the 31st, I believe, for something else. Thank you so much. How do you feel about this new job? Well, I feel great. I can talk. It's a talking job. Um, I uh say that just because i am tired of filling in applications and attempting to uh do things so i'm excited the pay is the lowest pay that i was willing to accept so i'm going to continue to look for a job what i want to do is just work there for one year get some more training in a specific field while i am going to do some i don't so i Confessions, confessions, confessions. I worked in the medical field for a long, long, long time as a medical assistant for a long, long time. I don't want to go back into a medical facility and work because I don't want them to tell me I need to get a shot or I need to do this. I want to make all those decisions on my own. Like if I decide to get a COVID shot or a vaccination, I want to make that decision. I don't want it to my job to be like, well, if you don't get this you don't get hired. Or if you don't do this, you get fired. I don't want that. I'm trying to fix this camera, y'all. So give me a second. Um, and it's wobbly. There we go. There we go, ma'am. So that's the only reason why I didn't go and get a job. Like uh, I spoke to someone and it's like, why don't you just get a desk job, like a front check-in job? And I didn't want that. Is it the position in the Epic system? No, it's not. I don't even know what the Epic system is. That was the next thing. I want to learn what the Epic system is so I could, you know. They pay $20 an hour <laughs> to work from home. And from what I understand, you get your own stuff. They send you the things you need. For this job, I need to use my own situation. So, um, yeah, that's the one thing. But the thing is, I'll be having training starting in September, the first full week in September, I believe. Uh, 
So my training is going to be daytime. So I want to know how you all feel about me doing nighttime live streams. If you don't want to do it, then we won't be doing any more live streams until I start working because my actual work shift is going to be from 3 to 11 at night. 3 p.m. to 11 at night. So I will try my best to do the, the daytime stream still. But we have to fill it out. I just want to let y'all know that's where we are right now. I did get a, I have a prospective job, I should say. Um, and I normally don't tell people like what's going on with me because I tend to, it tends to ruin it. Like if I put something out in the atmosphere, um, it's bad. Like it all goes to crap, right? So I normally don't tell people until it's a done deal. And we're at the almost a done deal stage. So we'll see how it is. Night is fine for you. Okay. All right. So yeah. Um, so that would be, um, and so this is the option. I, I'm off supposed to be off Sunday and Monday. Okay. We could do a weekend, the Sunday time, because Monday I have for my other streaming situation. The thing is I have to incorporate my family and they, they're always first. Family is always first. So you all, we could do um, for September to be night. We'll try night next week as well. We'll try night August to October, right? When I, I start working, working. We'll try nights. So from now on, we'll go nights, Tuesday night. We'll go nights. And then in October, if you want, we can swap it to maybe Saturday morning. No, Saturday, I'm definitely going to do something with the family. Or we could do Sunday in the afternoon. Epic is a super user-friendly EMR. The hospital gave us two classes, and then we went live, so it was an easy system to learn and work for. Okay, so when I applied for the job that I originally had applied for, they were like, do you have experience in the Epic thing? And I was like, no. Now, mind you, I do have experience in other computer programs for hospital, like looking up clinical data, but I don't, I couldn't, I, you know, the question was yes or no. And so they wrote me back and they said, while your resume is impressive, you said no on something. Hence, I didn't get a chance to do that job. But I can always, you know, once I get into this thing and, you know, you never know, I might actually like this. So we're going to go ahead and get started because we got a lot of stuff to do. And I want to go to Hobby Lobby. No, not Hobby Lobby. I need to go to uh, the craft store. So I don't need to go. I want to go out. I was supposed to take myself out yesterday and I ended up not taking myself out. So I'm going to take myself out today and do something for Brandy for me. All right. So last time we chit chatted about this, I have my glue gun. I have some glue sticks. I have my iron. We, we ready to go. Y'all can see the iron right here in the background. I don't know what my camera is doing. Uh, let me see. Mm -mm, mm -mm. There we go. I like that angle better. Yeah, there we go. Got so much stuff on my desk. All right. So... If you didn't know, I have a um, I like crafting. I like cutting paper. I like this. So this foam that we're using right here comes from the Dollar Tree, I believe. It came from the Dollar Tree, and this little spriggan is maybe Crafter's Companion. I don't know. If you all notice, I don't talk about them that much anymore. I'm very dissatisfied with the customer service I received from them. So I haven't purchased anything from this entire year, which is kind of sad because I like Crafter's Companion, but. For me, customer service goes a long, long, long way. So we did this last year, I want to say, y'all. Did we do this last year? This came from, I think, Hobby Lobby, I think. So what we're going to do, we're going to, we've already run these things through. I forgot one thing. Ain't that nothing. The one time I get organized and try to get myself together, bad stuff happens. So we got our tweezers. We got our tool. We got the heat gun. And we have that iron this iron that i got is from um walmart and it was 12 or 13 dollars two years ago i believe i think that's the last time we probably did this so i had already prefabricated these cut these out a while back um because i was like "Ooh, give me all of the foam because walmart had some for like under a dollar which was great if you can find stuff from walmart that's cheaper than the Dollar Tree, do it. Hi, Heather. How you doing today? Thank you so much for the color. I like these colors. These, y'all know I'm not into these colors at all, but I thought these would be really cool to do for flowers because 
you normally don't see blue and gray and green flowers. So sometimes you got to give in to the, get the people what they want. Now we also have other things. I was just trying to cut up some stuff. You can see here, uh, it didn't cut that well, but this is a flower base. And it's supposed to look like this. Now this is not, this is paper right here that you see. In the paper, we have a different method for getting it to curl over. All right. So we got our paper and yellow flowers always make me happy. I don't know why. When I was a little girl, I think I used to pick a lot of daisies, uh, wildflowers in Brenham, Texas. And even here, when I lived in um, Houston, I would take the flowers and slip the little piece and chain them together and make like a daisy uh, crown. Yeah, I've been crafting since crafting was crafting. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been crafting. I just didn't know that's what it was called. You know, when your little kid is called arts and crafts, as an adult, it's called a hobby, you know? Who knew? Who knew? So anyway, we got this out. This is enough because we probably only going to get to like five or six flowers, to be honest. Also, I have some fabric fabric flowers from the Dollar Tree and Walmart that we're going to do. So we're going to put our glue gun to the side. It's not on right now. So my friend and I, last Friday, we went to the, it's called Black Friday Store. And um, I bought a few things from there. So on certain days, everything is $10. On certain days, everything is 50 cents. On certain days, everything is this. So Friday was $8. And I've, I found a few things that I thought would be cool. Um, no craft stuff. They had some craft stuff, but I was not about to spend $10 on like 20 stickers. What I look like. Crazy. I might appear crazy, but... I'm not. We're going to go ahead and turn our iron on. Again, this is a craft iron designed for crafting only. It does have steaming, a steaming situation, but I am only going to turn this up to the highest level. No water. And we're going to let this get hot. And then um, we're going to pick out a few flowers. I tell y'all this all the time if you have some ugly paper you have some paper that's not very attractive in your mindset cut them into shapes not circles and squares like a lot of crafters do i feel like that's just a waste of paper get your hole punch out get your dies that have certain shapes and cut them out and the ugly patterns tend to turn into some of the most beautiful colors of flowers you could ever have when you are creating flowers that's just my opinion that's my two cents it was free 99 um do with it what you will so the problem that i have is quantity of things right and the reason why i say quantity you know the more flower you have the more stems you have the fuller it looks but i'm always like no i only want to use two so what <laughs> and two is just definitely not uh good to go these are thicker these came from hobby lobby i believe so i would recommend dollar tree thinness because the dollar tree uh will give you thinner petals the problem with that is Dollar Tree is hit or miss when it comes to certain things. And I've noticed that it only comes around on certain occasions. So when I saw it, I got it. But then I had bought a lot from the Hobby uh, Mike uh, Walmart. Walmart. I bought a lot from Walmart online. Because I had went into this. This is the funniest thing about Walmart. And maybe it's just my Walmart. And maybe the ladies that were behind the counter that day didn't want to be accommodating to me. I go into the Walmart. They took all the scanners down. They want you to download that Dago app and download, and you know, work, work. They want you to work at Walmart for free 99. So we working at Walmart because I got the Walmart app on my phone, right? And um, I scan it and it says it's 97 cents. Okay, 97 cents is great, right? 97 cents is amazing. But when I go to check it out, it's like a dollar and something. And you know, normally... I don't fight them. I just go to the customer service and I say, uh, this scanned at this price. They say, yeah, that's the online price. So what you're trying to tell me is, you know, my reaction, of course, because now cheap Betty has showed up, right? The cheap chick that lives in my head has showed up. And I'm like, that's not what the price thing said. They was like, oh, see, we have two different prices. We have an online price and we have an in-store price. She said, this is what she said. And when I tell you that I matched her level of petty with the petty, she said, 
what you could do, now hear me out, y'all, hear me good. What you could do is, and I quote, make an online order and we could, you know, get it for you. I said, so what you're telling me is you want me to go online while I'm in the store and order this 97 cents thing. And you want me to waste my gas and come back and pick it up. I said, okay. Because I'm a Walmart Plus shopper, right? For the gas, the 10 cents off. I made them deliver it to me for free 99. That's when you know that you petty. All right, so the iron is piping hot. You can touch it if you want, but I'm telling you that it's hot, you know. So we got a little bit of some fur. Now, since it's so hot and this is so thick, we're going to burn this a little bit longer. Tweezers always work. But if you want to use your hand because, you know, you like doing wild stuff like that, go ahead and do your hand. So you see how it's uh, bubbling up? That is so annoying. Yes. I was like, okay, we matching petty today because sometimes petty, no petty. And I was like, all right, well, somebody going to be delivering it to me. And I, uh, I don't like to tip. Hear me out. I didn't like to tip that day because I was mad. So I had them. Now, I ordered them right online and they had to mail it to me. And you know, it's free because I'm a Walmart Plus. So I got one delivered to me at the house and then I had four or five more delivered because I was just like, you know what y'all some, this is dumb. This is dumb. So I'm going to use this because I feel like I feel a little bit more safe with this. So what we're doing, if you're wondering, we're just going to create this bubble. See? Now, I don't have my distress stuff. I thought I had brought it, but I left it where it was sitting. So there you go. Now, it's still hot. This is thick, so it's only going to get this thickness. But uh, let's see if I can't find a thin one. Mm -mm, you can't find no thin one. You knew that. Okay, fine. I can't find a thin one. That's fine. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to tint these flowers a little bit. I got, uh, do I have another one? I really try not to get real petty with stuff because my mindset for people that are working, um, I call everybody that's going to work on the front line, regardless of what they're doing. They deal with a lot of stupid, y'all. They deal with a lot of stupid people, uh, dumb people, whatever, you, whatever word you want to call someone that's doing something that doesn't make sense to you. They deal with that all day long, right? And then you you may think that you're a sane person <laughs> until you go to the register and have to get them to do something. And then you're no longer sane. Now, I know we have this purple here, but we're going to go ahead and ink these edges up just a little bit. You could do it prior and you could do it post. No big deal. Either way you do it, it's going to be done nice and fanandy dandy. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, um, if you go online to the Walmart app, they may have the foam square. It's a rectangle, though. They may have it for 97 cents at your Walmart. And, again, it's cheaper than Wal it's cheaper than Dollar Tree. So I was like, yeah, fine. And you're going to deliver it to me today because I'm petty like that and I have the Walmart Plus thing? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Do your thing. All right. So I just want to go ahead and announce again after today. Let me just verify on my phone. We're going to go live at nighttime on Tuesdays. And we're going to try to do 7 p.m. my time. So it'll be 8 if you're on East Coast. And it'll be 5 if you're on West Coast. And everywhere in between, hopefully. Um, yep. Because I start work. The second week in September. And right now I have nothing on the calendar. But then the week of the 24th of October, uh, we're going to be doing days. Or we could try and get a, it'll be an early morning stream on Sunday. Because I probably will be streaming all that Sunday. Unless I got to do my kid's hair. So that's every two weeks I got to do his hair. You know what, y'all? Adulting is such a... Mm, Pain in a butchukas. Okay, so we're gonna do this side on this side as well because I'm just trying to thin out that foam a little bit so we can get some um, good shrivel. If you ever do, y'all remember growing up? You took a. It was this kind of material that you could take and put it in the street, and it would turn into like a snake and swir swirl. Maybe that was just in Houston. I don't know. 
All right, so we got two. I think this is probably one of the most exciting things that I have done with an iron in a long time. Thank you so much, Heather. Yeah. So now I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to have to. I don't know how the job is going to actually be because it's going to be me typing and stuff like that. But I'm like, maybe I can make some cards and just do the videos afterwards. I don't know. Because I wake up at the butt crack of dawn right now, but I know that won't be the same when it when I start working. But she started getting sleepy. It is foam, Helen. How you doing? Listen, let me tell you something, ma'am. I don't go on Facebook that often, but I saw that you were having a D stash. Did I miss it? Because I don't get, like the people that I've been following for forever, I don't get notifications from y'all anymore. I don't know what's going on. Like I have to search you out. And if I don't know that you posted a video, I won't see it. Like, I don't know why uh, the algorithm has changed for my viewership. But this is foam. This is some thick foam. I want to say this came from Hobby Lobby. Because they had it on sale. It's also available. Okay, I have to go and look at your channel. I was like, dang it, I missed it. All right, so I'm just going to move this around a little bit. You see how that just flops over? So we got a few petals. And once it starts to dry because it's not really thin, it turns into a crust. So if you've ever had a foam egg, this is how it feels. You can hear it versus this right here. It's not as crusty as these. And now we're going to do some purples really quickly because we're doing this whole shade of purple, I guess. Some um, springtime things. I'm already thinking about Easter for next year. Don't I have a lot of Easter stuff that I didn't get a chance to do this year. And I'm like, yeah, we're going to go ahead and work on this. And by we, I mean just, you know, me. Could you imagine having a team help you do stuff? Or could you imagine being a sponsor for, a spokesperson for somebody? Um, this weekend, I saw that, I didn't watch the video, but I saw Tim Holtz has some Halloween stuff. And then, I, of course, I got a lot of notifications from a lot of people, the stores, saying, Tim Holtz Halloween, Tim Holtz Halloween. I'm like, do I really want to go down that rabbit hole this year? Because I haven't even got all the new ink colors. I don't even know what the new ink colors are. I think I'm just not that person I used to be back in the day when everything was so exciting to me, so thrilling. Now I'm kind of like, you know how you hear those old salty people? Or maybe you join a new club, a group, in, in whatever group it is, especially for crafters, because crafters can be kind of... Mm, uh, and you show up and, you know, you got that one lady that doesn't like anybody. You got to be there like six months for her to even say hello to you. And you show up and you bust out with a new case and you're like crocheting or knitting or cutting paper. And you had a new paper trimmer. And she looks at you and she's like, nothing new. I've seen it all. Something crazy like that. Don't, don't, don't think that I don't know that the craft community is very much like that. I experienced it once. So if you want to, you could just also hold your finger on it because this is thick. But I don't recommend that because you do feel the heat. I mean, it's a hot iron. What do you expect, right? So I do ex I do think that you should lay the iron down on its back. That's why you don't need water. And steam would mess it up. But we only got steam right here. So what are y'all up to today? How was your weekend? Mine was okay. I didn't do much that I can recall. I did my son's hair. Whew. I'm considering cutting it down some, not off, but just like six inches cut it. He has really long hair. His hair comes to like his booty. Uh, whenever I tell people my son has long hair, they're like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> and then they see pictures like, oh, he got long hair. I just told you that. Like, why would I lie? My neighbors were like, did you put anything in? I was like, why would I put something? My, if it was a girl, I could see maybe putting some hair extensions in. Yeah, he has long hair. Um, I'll see if I have any pictures of his hair real quick on my cell phone. I stopped taking pictures because it's all the same. 
just hair everywhere. Man, it gets so tangled so quickly. Like, I don't know how to find good products to help me with that. It's so wiry. And he has bad shrinkage. Really, really bad shrinkage. If you all don't know what shrinkage is, like if you have curly hair and you wa it's long and then you wash it, <laughs> then it reverts back. Let me see if I have a picture of his hair. Uh... Also, before I go any further, look at this picture. I saw this at Cracker Barrel, and I was like, ooh, can I find this cheaper? <laughs> the answer was no. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so last Wednesday, I went on an adventure, and let me tell you, let me tell you this. I went to the thrift store, and right next to the thrift store, it used to be Tuesday morning. Guess what's in the Tuesday morning already, y'all? Guess. I'm going to wait on this answer. I use Argan All Moroccan for my hair and it doesn't get as to. I'm going to have to try that. But you have silkier hair than he does. His hair is... Whew. You'll see in a few seconds if I can find a dang good picture of it. Hold on. I can't even find that picture yet. You know, I used to take a lot of pictures of him um, when he wasn't mo as mobile. Yes, Samara. How the heck did you know? How in the heck did you know? Is that I feel I feel disgusted. They didn't took all the good crafts and turned into spirit Halloween. I don't have a picture to show y'all. But if you are Facebook friends with me, then you've seen this hair before. All right. Um so we got four, we got two, two. How you know? You already been there. You saw one. And people was just walking in Spirit Halloween like it was the greatest thing since sliced bread. I was like, you suck. They're, they're only there until November. And then what? Tuesday morning, not coming back. I have been to like all of the discounted stores, y'all. And none of them have craft stuff. <laughs> like Tuesday morning used to have. I guess that contract the craft contract went away, huh? That's how I got introduced to a lot of stuff like Echo Park. Uh, actually, a lot. Mostly everything I know. Because I wasn't like... I used to go to Michael's all the time and join fabric. And I would usually buy yarn and fabric. Have you seen me sew anything? Mm -mm. I got a closet full of yardage. Oh, that's so sad. I have a picture of the the manager that used to work at the store that we used to go to. Her and my son. He almost tall as her. <laughs> that's the really bad part. She was short. I think that's the bad part about like um you know, learning people's habits and making friends with them. And then something bad happens like a foreclosure or bankruptcy, firing. I had a whole tote of yarn. I took it to Savers. I need my classmate. I bet. Yeah, I use my yarn. I'm actually going to do some um, yarn crafts. I'm going to get some balls, make some yarn balls because you can just take some balloons and blow them up and then glue use some Mod Podge and glue the strings around it. Around the, um, oh 
words, what are they? Around the the balloon and then pop it and then it looks like you have this amazing creation. I'm trying to make sure we get enough of these burned or excuse me, melted so that we don't have to come back because we're going to cut this off, um, this iron off. Oh, here's one. So this is a the Dollar Tree. You can see how thin it is versus this one. This is definitely a, a Hobby Lobby or even a Joanne Fabric phone. So I had went online and tried to find like the cheap phone. I was going to buy some from from like AliExpress. And I was like, you know what? Use what you got first. But I get so fatigued in die cutting multiple things over and over and over again. That's one of the reasons why. And plus my die cut machines, I've had bad luck with them recently. I don't, um, you know, I told y'all I broke one. My first one I broke. The second one is still kicking. And I have a, I have purchased some because I was like, oh, I'm going to teach classes, blah, blah, blah. And then um, I decided that I don't like humans enough to teach like that. COVID. COVID, and I taught a card making class. The ladies in that class, whew, my goodness, I'll tell you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The one person was throwing stuff. I was like, it's okay. And you know, like when you're teaching, you have to pretend like you like everybody and that they're amazing people. So just go, hey, don't be so hard on yourself. It's going to be okay. I was like, this lady tripping. In my head, of course. <laughs> so we're just letting this uh, get back hot because, you know, we flipped it over. So it's you see, you can barely see that it's starting to rise again. But I was like, I don't want to do this. I used to want to be an elementary school teacher into COVID. And we did home, we did distance learning, I guess you could say, from with pre-k for my son and school started at eight o'clock this little boy would be late to school <laughs> in the house he gotta walk like 10 feet from one area to the next i was like they don't think i'm the one like this morning yeah I, so i make this bootleg version of uh, a breakfast burrito or taco i just take some scrambled egg and i take some um turkey sausage and I let ground and let it ground up and I cook it and then I put it in the breakfast in the uh, soft tortilla with some jelly right I use the green verde of a verde sauce but he likes that one and so I he said can I have that tomorrow which was yesterday for today I said yes no problem I wake him up and he's like it hurts when I swallow no he calls he says when I gulp I said Come here. So I checked them out. You know, school started two weeks ago now. So definitely back to school crud is going around. And they're just calling them a URI, upper respiratory infection, right? But usually when I take him to the doctor, I'm like, oh, it's just his allergy. So I've just been giving him his allergy medicine for it because he doesn't have a fever or anything like that. All right, there we go. So we're going to turn this iron off because... I've been burned with an iron before in my lifetime, and it's not the best thing in the world. Now, this little, if I was reviewing this, I would say the off-on switch is in a, a bad spot. But other than that, this cute little fun iron. So we're going to put that there, let it cool off. And so now what we're going to do is just take this. If you had thinner stuff you could distress, they need to go to school in Columbia. The younger children go to school from noon to What? <sighs> You know, I probably, is the parents still working at that time? Because noon to 6 p.m., dang. That's crazy. I was send him. <laughs> so we're going to just open this back up. And even though we opened it up, it still has that. So now what we're going to do is take our word, thinner side. Is this from the Dollar Tree, y'all? I think this is a Dollar Tree one. Yeah, because the other one is orange. The Fiskars is orange. So, And now we're just going to take it and we're going to make uh, four flowers. There you go. Now, if you have a poke, uh, a sharp poke tool, you can use that one. And so we're just going to put them all on here. We're not worried about placement yet. Besides in the middle, Brandy. 
that's the only thing we need to be concerned about. All right. So there we go. And then we're just going to turn this. Now, I don't have any stamen because I'm well prepared. I'm super prepared for it. So you can do two thing, one or two things. Well, you have a few options. You can create your own, your own statement. You could um, buy some statement, or you could do something else. So we're going to take this wire and our three right here. We're going to put it right here. We probably have too long of petals, but the older children go from 7 a.m. to noon. Oh, so they come home and work, huh? Is that how it works? I'm assuming that I could be wrong. And then the little kids go to school while the big kids are work. That's still crazy. Not in a bad way, just, you know, crazy. All right. I would send my kid. In um, Italy, they have fiestas, so the kids come home and get to eat lunch and then take naps and then go back to school. I love that each country you talk to, people from different countries, they all have different things that go on. All right. We need a big one. We need this big Bertha over here. Let's turn this iron back on. Let's do this, y'all. Glad the heat is still pumping because these little bitty ones is not going to work for our situation. So we're going to take Bertha and her cousins over here. I hope no one's offended by me calling the flowers Big Bertha, but um, they are huge. They're a little bit bigger. And then we're going to put the small one inside. So we're going to do four still. I still think we can do four out of here. Yeah. Let's go ahead and let the iron heat back up. Bertha May. Definitely making up names now, Ron. Okay, let's see. We got pink, pink. Maybe we only gonna get two because we don't have enough flowers out. But I don't want to mix too many colors. I like the purple situation. All right, let's go. So anybody got any major craft plans going on? Yes, they have siestas also. Yeah. When I lived in Italy and I first saw I was like, why are these kids not in school? Italy just, just let their kids run rampant, huh? It was like, no, they go home and they spend time with their family. And I was like, yeah, America don't know nothing about that. <laughs> Good job, American crapping on a country you know nothing about educate yourself before you start talking trash yeah that's what i did i i educated myself it's always good to learn i loved italy oh the food the people just amazing um an amazing experience that i would never ever uh take for granted if i had the opportunity to go back to italy i would definitely be like i'll see y'all later okay <laughs> You know, the one thing I never found in Italy, I never found any craft stuff. No plans, just working on the final boxes. And oh, Heather, Heather about to make a return to the crafting scene, y'all. Because I went to your page the other day. I didn't see anything. I was like, where this lady's crafts at? What is she doing? <laughs> I be stalking Heather. <laughs> also, Samara, I tried to send you an email the other day. But um, the message I was trying to send you was too big, so I'll try again. I got to find a, a, a good source to send it through. It's healthier. I take nap. Mine are early morning because I wake up at 345, so nap is 6. Yeah, listen, I uh, agree. Taking naps are good. I have a problem with napping, probably because my mind won't ever shut up. My mind is just constantly going, and I've been having trouble sleeping these last couple of days. Um, but I 
every time I take a nap, I wake up with a headache. Every time. It never fails. Oh, I'm glad that wasn't too hot. All right. I got this right here. Have y'all did this yet? Have y'all ever did this? We, we've discussed this a few times, but I haven't seen y'all say y'all did it yet. And I know this isn't a craft that everyone is into, so. These old things floppy. Oh, waking up with a headache? Yeah. Every time. I um I don't like napping through the day in the daytime. I'll have to get that checked out then. Oh yeah. You know, I was thinking about you, Samara. I had went someone else like, hmm, I wonder if Samara would I was like, you know, get it out your head because she already said that she ain't been crafting. All right. Let's do this. This one's still hot. All right. So we got our little leaf. I feel like we need to put more on here. Let's do this. I don't like foam. I think what you're doing is pretty. Oh, thank you. There we go. Cut this down just a little bit more. I always look at stuff and be like, what can I do with that? How can I fix it? How can I change that? <laughs> Ooh, that would be a cute craft. That's what I always think. Probably not the best thing to always have that mindset, but that's the mindset that I be having. All right. Oh, look. Yeah. And, you know, flowers in God's creations, they are perfectly imperfect. Not each thing is um, the same, just like us. We're all different. And amazing in our own way, right? This thing say, look, I want to be by myself. I don't want to be on this thing. Oh, a card. Ooh, I haven't seen that one, but that would be cool to look and see. Some things I can't do, right? You know, I think that's the one thing that we have to always remember. Some things you can't get done. All right, do we have enough? One, two, we got three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, I'm going to turn this iron off because I feel like I'm going to need some hot glue. This has to be the slowest way to turn off an iron. All right, now we're going to bring up the hot glue gun. Now, y'all know I have a love-hate relationship with my hot glue guns. So, uh, just keep that in mind. <laughs> she don't really be caring for the hot glue gun like that. Because I think I'm going yeah, to do that. And now we need one little piece. I think, I think we can get away with a glue bead, a, a, a bead, y'all. I do think we can get away with a bead. I don't know about this color bead. I think I would try this because it's so... No, thank you so much. Yeah. Even though you don't like foam, you know, you can get the cheap... If you go to Dollar Tree or, you know, see if they have them on, at Walmart and, and do that order or whatever. Um, and try it out. That'd be really cool. Let's see. Got my beads here. Just trying to see. I think you could, I thought I had some purple beads close by. Let me see. Maybe this pearl. I don't know. We're gonna just throw a few out on the table. Oh yeah, we got purple over here. 
Purple, purple, purple. Now for statements, sometimes you, I was going to say you could sew. That's how I learned. You could sew a few beads around and put it in like that. But for what we're doing, we don't need that right away. And also flat back pearls will always, always be a go-to. I'm working on my um, craftaholic collab with friends. That's, listen, I gotta, I don't watch a lot of YouTube videos that much anymore. Which is sad. Um, because I be playing video games all the dang time. <laughs> but I'm going to get back into that. So we got this glue on here. And now we're just going to go purple. Although I think... Don't matter really. And we're going to put this down and let it adhere just like that. And then the glue gun is not hot yet, y'all, just so you know. It takes a few seconds for this thing to heat up. As with glue guns, that's what they do. They take a little while to heat up. I understand I don't either. I do hop on live from time to time. Yeah. I like watching live streams. Um, but I like to also go back and watch you know, regular videos. I like interacting with the the streamer whenever they are live, but I love watching the videos, especially when I'm in as many collabs that I'm in. It's always nice to go back and just see the video. So now we're going to take our purple, the little ones, and we're going to glue. Is the hot glue really needed? No, because if you have a stamen, we don't have stamen, no. You don't need that. You could just um, cinch it together like that. But since we don't have our stamen, because someone thought they was really together today, they thought they was prepared. Cha! <laughs> I fooled myself. I fooled myself because I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared. As prepared as I thought I was going to be, I should say. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of pressure. Turn this. Come on, turn it, turn it, turn it. There we go. Yeah, but I, I like to go back and watch. The only thing is, I've I've learned, I've learned that I don't, over time, over time, I've stopped following a lot of people. Um, but everybody that I'm in collaborations with, I follow them. Regardless on how uh, much we don't have in common, I still follow them. Because you can learn, especially when it comes to crafting, you can learn so much from another person that you never even know. Uh, that you, you know, you set up here and learned this from this person. And you think about it like, oh, yeah, I learned it from Betty. I don't know a Betty on here, but it could be one. Oh, I do know a Betty, but. I wasn't talking about her in particular, but yeah, I, I enjoy that. And that's why I go back. I try to watch all the videos. It just takes me a while to get to them. But now that I'm going to be working, maybe y'all, just maybe, just maybe I could uh, do that. But I don't think I'll have a lot of time. All right. So here we go with this. What y'all think? No, because you still got that seed. That bead right there. That whole. Y'all think a flat back gem? What y'all think? So you think a pearl will go in? Or you think we need to do something different? How about three pearls? Okay, we could try three. The only thing is it's still going to have that hole on there. That's what I'm trying to cover up, the hole. I do like it. And, you know, since this foam, it is a little bit more flexible. It took us this long to do one flower. Lord. OK. 
thing. I don't even think three gonna fit on our thing. Maybe one will work. It just looks weird with that opening. I'll try three on the next one though. So we got this glue gun oozing out. It's ready. It's piping hot. It's like, yes, give it to me. only have these uh, sizes. I don't have any. Um, let me see. Actually, I could try and see. I do think I can put one on the side, but you're trying to. Let's see. First of all, let's see if the hole. Let's see if the hole is big enough to go over the thing. So, y'all, I, I did an exam yesterday. The exam where you don't have you can't wear deodorant until after it's over with. And I still feel like I don't have deodorant. Time has come, showered, everything. I just feel dirty. Dirty, yes. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. Also, is it me or has Joanne sent out a message and they're having a sale? Like they're having a good sale, apparently, from the email. Let's see if this is going to actually go on here. No, it won't fit on the whole. The, the bead is too small. You can jam it on there, but it won't fit three. But we could probably try. Yeah, that won't even fit either. All right, let's move on to the next one, unfortunately. Well, not unfortunate, but it won't fit. It doesn't want to fit. Let's glue this down because apparently... Do y'all like getting flowers? I like to make them. I really don't like receiving the flowers. Only because they end up dying. And I'm not about that life. I don't like it. But it's always the thought of kind of like... It's really nice that people think about people enough to send them flowers. Okay, so we're going to do this one. We're going to do two purples because we don't have the white anymore. Put on the side. Put on the side of it and one on the top of the three with a side. This was fun. Thank you. All right, Max. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you coming and hanging out with me. Have a great rest of your day. I appreciate that. All right, Helen. You and your fancy crafting. If I get burned with this glue, I'm going to be so sad. I'm going to cry. Put on the side of it and one on the top of all the three with the, on one side. I'm going to try it. We're going to see what happens. If I get burned, I'm going to cry. All right. So I know you're like, well, why are you not using glue this time? I'm going to use the glue, I promise. I love getting flowers. Do you? Yeah. A lot of a lot of people do. I think it's always like the thought, you know, behind getting the flowers, not so much the flowers. I love I love that. I have received flowers. I usually get them for my birthday from uh, one of my friends. It's always so nice and the house smells nice, you know, from the flowers in that area. And I leave them out until they start to like get crusty, crusty. But in general, if someone's like, okay, we're going to go get you flowers, I wouldn't be like, yeah, give me flowers. I need flowers. Um, but if someone's like, here's a gift card to Hobby Lobby, I'm like, ooh, 
Let's go get some craft stuff. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. I think it's always nice for the thought. The thought. Use your tweezers. Helen, listen. I'm not that tweezer savvy. I, I look like it, don't I? I look like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I got you fooled like that. Hmm. All right, we're going to try it, though. We're going to try it. After I chase this bead down. Crafts over flowers. All right. Hello. That blue hat. What y'all up to? Besides no good. Any of y'all seen the Fantastical Beast movies? I want to watch those. Now, if I was really into crafting, you convinced me make up my arrangement. Yes. All right, ma'am. I hope the meeting is short and they don't talk too long about nothing because that's what meetings be. Like, you could have sent this to me in an email for real. Yeah, look, it's cool. It's going to be fun. Okay, so you said put this bead here. Okay, let's do that first. Now what? Put on the side of it and one on the top of all three with one side. Now I don't understand what that means. Hold on. All right, so we got this, right? I'm just going to push it down some. I think that's the one thing about carpet that I don't like. Um... It's meetings. Now we got the three. So are you saying put them around here like this? Or no? Put three on the side of the stem. Okay. So that's what you meant. Like this? Then add one on top. Not showing. Okay. Uh, We're going to need more than three. <laughs> Let's see. I think we need six. So what I'm going to do at the direction of Miss Helen over here, I'm just going to apply some glue around this one ball like that. I'm going to drop them in. It's all full and fluffy. I like that. See? Great minds help people that be struggling. Come here. You got to go. Hurry up before the, the um, glue dry. Then I need one more. That's pretty. All right. Oh, shoot. They must not have enough glue. 
So I'm not putting any more glue. I'm just reheating the glue and melting it down some. Then we'll see. That thing just jumped right out my hand. He was like, I'm going. Geronimo. All right. I still need one more. One more. One more. Yeah, you did good. Good direction. Sometimes I can follow them good, and sometimes, you know, I can't. All right, so we're going to put a little bit of glue here. Now, I'll tell y'all, and I'm not going to do it, but if I was in the glitter or some drops. Oh, I got the shakes. Dang it. We could do that. All right, so that's one. We did it. And then that's two. We got naked, naked flower. Not naked. We may have to go back and uh, fix that, but it won't be today because I got to dig out some little balls. All right, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one. Now, I've done this flower before a thousand times, y'all. Not a thousand, but a few times. So what you need is some... Um, you need a flower that's really thick in petals. Very, very thick in petals. And by thick in petals, I mean have a lot of petals on it. Okay. Now, this is the one thing that I will say about me. I'm okay with taking stuff away and making stuff anew. Like, I'm, I like taking apart one thing and trying to make it you know into something else so i don't have a problem with doing that some people may say why are you taking this flower apart if you already have the flower but you know that's the craft in us i'm sure we've all seen the project and was like i can make that you've seen that sign it says why buy it when you can make why buy something for seven dollars when you can make it for 96 or something crazy like that that's us um, back in the day, Dollar Tree used to sell these red, white, and blue flower lays. You used to get three for a buck. I don't know if they still do that or not. But I had got a few because back in the day, I was really, really horrible with saving the money and spending it. I used to spend it a lot more than I do now because I have a bunch of craft stuff. So what we're going to do is take this apart real quick. And we're gonna take the red, the white flowers, and we're gonna just dip them in the purple again. All right, yeah. So now I'm just like, I don't need this. What is this for? Like I'm much more of a what is this for kind of person when I'm when I'm like, ooh, this, you know, because the craft's gonna always stay cute, right? So we need. Uh, let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It, we don't need to count them. We'll do that later. All right. Move this to the side. Get the whole punch out. Hopefully it's right here where it's supposed to be. If not, that means I'd have moved it and didn't put it back. Of course. Of course. I moved it and didn't put it back. Chop this string. Now, if you are really one of those people, you probably um, can take every piece of equipment that you have gotten, uh, excuse me, material, and make something with that. I can't do that, y'all. I'm not that person. I'm not that person. But you need a circle punch right now. And we don't have a circle. You need a circle, a, a little diameter to put this on. That's okay. We're going to take our... Also, oh, you know what we could try? Ah, I'm scared. Oh, there go the whole punch. I'm a little bit nervous on this part. So uh, let's let's hope that uh, I get unscared real, real quick because we're going to do it no matter what. And the reason why I'm scared because I'm scared to mess up my desk. I'm just taking these white flower pieces out first 
No. See, I'm trying to make sure that my desk stays clean. Uh, semi not cluttered. Because clean is an understatement. Um, when we're crafting. Just because at the end, I've been putting all my junk up. And it's easier to clean as we go, you know. Versus just throwing it all out there. And being like, oh, I'll get it when I'm done. And then not getting it. All right. So we got this. The glue gun is ready to uh, pop. All right, let me get some spray. And I'm using some Dilutions ink I got from Michaels. It was on clearance for two bucks. It was a while back. But the Michaels that's near my house, they don't. I don't know if they do the, the grab bags, but they have a whole clearance section. It's a bunch of junk over there right now. So even if they did a grab bag, I would warn against getting it unless you are into a lot of colored yourself Simbas. That's all they really have. And they do have um, some, they don't have a lot. Let me, let me just say that. It's not a bunch of stuff worth purchasing. All right, so we're going to take this. And I have a napkin right here. Not that this is very good. So we're going to swirl this around again. And I'm going to take this off my desk. Okay. And I'm just going to spritz it twice and squeeze it. Maybe three times. Yeah, I'll do it three times. So that was one, two. We're going to do four. So you can see how it looks. Spritzed. Okay, and this is how it looks un all over the desk. It's a mess. I'm gonna put this lid back on. Take my circle hole punch. I'm gonna punch a hole in some scrap paper. All right. So now what we're gonna do is take our pieces, take them, fold them twice. So once like this. And like this. And I learned this from a craft. I can't think of her name right now. I learned this from her. This is when I used to have an Instagram page. And then we're just going to go right in the center. And put this down right there. If you have your little heat finger tip, that would be a good time to pull it out. Apparently, I don't have mine because we're using tweezers. All right, same thing. Take it and fold it in half twice. We're just going to put a little bit of glue right here to keep the fold folded. Now, if I had enough foresight, y'all, I could make a lot of these for my son's teachers for, like, the holidays. But she don't have that foresight right now. Even though I'm mentioning it to you, I'm mentioning it to you, still don't have the foresight to do it. Then we're going to squeeze. If you want a smaller circle, of course, you can do a smaller circle. We're just putting this here so we can get a good base. Okay. Then keep going. And we're going to do four layers. Um, excuse me, three layers. If we have enough flowers. This is why it's good to take these that have full of petal, fuller petals and do it. But since, you know, we had that lay and I had purchased a lay to do this a long time ago. That's what we're doing it for and why. And then I'll put this right here. Let's go ahead and heat this glue glob. Look at that big old glue glob. Glue gob. We're going to just heat this back up some. Okay. And put that down on top. And press. And press. And as you can see, it's already a little bit on the fluff fluff side because we crinkled up our petals. But that's okay. We're going to do more. We're going to overlap these seams now.
Okay, so I'm just folding it over and squeezing. Now, apply some pressure. And we just went over that seam. We did not go over the first one. We went over the seams uh, that connect the flowers together. That petal was ugly, but that's okay. They all can't be beautiful, you know. I'm not a super precision person in a lot of the craftings that we do, but in some instances, I do want to make sure that we get good crease on all of them. Now, if I were doing an assembly line, I would probably get all of my petals like this first. This is only going to do one. Next Tuesday, we're probably going to be working on a book. We're going to start our a junk journal. I, think I want to get a few made before um, Christmas. Before Christmas. All right, so we're going to open this back up. Squeeze hot. That was hot. <laughs> that was hot, y'all. Very, very hot. Okay. <laughs> We're going to do one more row. So <laughs> junk journal will be fun. Yes, I have. Um, I've been putting it off for far, far too long. Um, so hopefully this week before next Tuesday, I can gather the materials. And then we got one more scene to go. Do we got one more thing? No, nope, I think that's it. So we're going to just do one more right here. I can't tell where we started and stopped. So that's good, I guess. The only bad part is the brown is making it look a little bit dirty on the inside. That's okay, because we're going to put a, a um, flat back gem right there. Yeah. And it's still looking flat, but that's okay, because we're going to just go over here and fluff it up. After we put our last one on, and that's how it's gonna look. I wished I had. I probably. I was afraid I could. Pro, I could have probably put more purple on. Cause look, this one got fully saturated almost, and it looks really pretty. I was afraid. Go ahead. You can. You can chastise me for being nervous. Uh oh. Got a message about my uh, physical therapy appointment tomorrow. Lucky me. Lucky me. <laughs> so excited. Can you tell the excitement in my voice? <laughs> if not, then that's how I feel about it. It's for my knees. The good thing is the physical therapist is really nice because I went there for my shoulder, but if you've ever been to physical therapy, for whatever reason, I don't like going to physical therapy. I go because I know that it's going to be beneficial for me, but I don't like it. It's like telling your child to eat whatever food they don't like, and they're like, I don't like it. And you're like, you're going to eat it. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do some junk journaling. I want to get everything together. We'll probably do it in three spots. The, the signatures. It'll be the, um, the spine, the signatures, and then all the stuff that goes inside. So I have to go back and watch a lot of videos. Because I haven't made a junk journal in a minute. All right. So I think we're going to go right here. Okay. 
All right. I think. Do we need another one? No. All right. So let's go ahead and get us a gem out. Hmm. All right. I cannot. You will not believe this, y'all. Y'all not going to believe this. There's no open. Oh, it's behind me. It jumped behind me. Love the message. And gaining range of motion. Don't. Exactly. <laughs> that bill. Who? You, you want to know what kind of bill you don't want to see? A bill that you cause. Like an accident that you cause. In your insurance company. <laughs> I hit my own car in February this year, I believe. March. I was like, really? Thankfully, I have, I think it's collision. All right, so we're going to go ahead and... Um, Try not to burn myself. Apparently, this glue is turning different color. I don't know what's going on with that. It's a big one. And then we have some left over. Now, I would say probably do a lot. If you're going to dye your stuff, saturate a little bit better than I did because that's just plain old ridiculous. Plain old ridiculous. <laughs> What I thinking? What was I thinking? I don't know what. I don't know what came over the purple monster today, but the purple monster arrived and decided to show out. And I'm okay with the purple monster doing that. Yep. And thanks to Miss Helen, loves to craft. Excuse me, loves to create. She gave us this, and now this is when you go to the doctor's office. You know, you know that you're at the doctor's office when you see this, right? You were like, "Can I get a pen?" They'd be like, "Here." Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, y'all. I I have nothing else. I have nothing, nothing. I hope that you had a good time. I had a great time. Thank you. This is all you're doing, girl. Now, Helen, going to get that phone, even though you say you don't like it. Get the phone out, ma'am, and uh, make something amazing so we can see it. Um, good luck with your boxes, Heather. I can't wait to see what you do. Sprouts is some more, even after making it. Yeah. Oh, Spritz, yeah, I, sh I could, but in my desk right now, I, I can't. But I, I, yeah, definitely could spritz it more. Um, but I think we're going to actually use this on a project like that, I think. I think. We'll see. All right, so I want to say thank you all so very, very much for hanging out with me today. I really, really appreciate it. I hope that you had a great time. And I will see you next Tuesday in the afternoon, 7 Central, around 7 Central Standard, my time. Because I still have to do that thing called mom in first. Um, uh, anyway, I want to say thank you for watching. And until next time, happy crafting.